Element Corporation, 1983. Engineering initialized. Recovery mode activated. Awaiting archive entry. Oh, wait. Do you get to input the archive code somehow? Yeah, it looks like it. So, can you just use it? Oh, are you going to follow your archive pattern? Can you keep the... Can you keep that flipped open while you're using it? Yeah, select cards. Can you do that? Yeah. Can you... Wait, you can't have it open and then follow it? There we go. Oh, okay, there you go. Accessing archive for use of Vermilion, logs, canary, rope briefing, aubergine, I guess I like music now, pistachio. Wait, are, are these messages from the different crew members? Mm-hmm. With full logs. I, I'd like to read what these are. They're talking about kittens and stuff. Okay. You know? Yeah, we can we can read them. I just I am getting oh messages and logs. I'm getting very heavy. This is going to take like <laughs> uh just as long as murder by numbers. I uh... mean, maybe not, but like we're already 3 4 episodes in. And Wait, really? Yeah. You might want to make these longer. Yeah, or cut them down until we have the solution. Mm-hmm. I mean, that that could work. Yeah, I'll, we'll think about it. I, I'll let Shell read the logs, but depending on how the episodes go, we'll figure out if we want to play more of this or if this is just something that we load up on our own and maybe only record uh, the beginnings and ends, or hell if I know. Anyway. Well, the thing is, I forget who is what. Like, Vermillion I know is a guy. I just... But I don't know about Canary. I'm gonna let you read. I've just been having a long stream, and you did say my voice was going beforehand. Yeah. So, I'm gonna just let you... Are we gonna find an archive card for every crew member? Yep. Really? Good evening, Vermillion. I'll be conducting a briefing tomorrow morning at 0830. For the other new crew members, oh, other crew members, with regards to the construction of the probe that we plan to dispatch to Arnold 475M. As you don't hold a research or engineering position on this vessel, this meeting is not mandatory for you. That said, you're welcome to attend it if it so pleases you. Regards, Canary. Evening. Well, if everyone else is going to be there, then I'll come too. It'll feel... It feel too much like missing out otherwise. See you in the morning, Vermillion. Aubergine. I think Aubergine was a guy too. I guess I like music now from Aubergine. I don't know what it was that you were listening to yesterday, but I have not been able to get it out of my head. I've been humming it all morning. What have you done to me? Just both the curse and joy of music on Earth, we called it an earworm. There's only one way to cure an earworm. Fortunately, I possess everything needed up here in the med bay. <laughs> Pistachio. Hi, Vermillion. Canary mentioned in my mission briefing that you offered to help Juniper and myself with a search for a suitable landing site. Do you fancy helping us out this afternoon? You could sure appreciate the company. Pistachio. Sounds well. I'll be there. Vermillion. Hi, Juniper. I have some tablets for you to take. Your sneezing earlier got me thinking that you might have an acute form of hay fever. You have been working in botany a lot and will prob are probably inhaling pollen from plants your body's unfamiliar with. Take these twice daily whilst you're working up there, and you should have a much nicer time of it. Hi, Vermilion. Thanks. Yeah, hay fever. That makes sense. I'll pop by in a sec to grab him. 
But yeah, I, I am actually rather enjoying this game. I think it's just a matter of, like, I get stressed out whenever I see a game that looks like it might end up being 20 hours. Or longer. That actually requires effort. Anyway, we now have five cats. It seems that even at the very boundary of the known universe, life has indeed found a way. Sable has given birth to four kittens, all of whom are doing well. They will remain up here in the medbay for the next few days, so I can keep an eye on them. Feel free to visit at your leisure. Fantastic news. I'll be up to meet them later. This is Canary again. Afternoon all. It, was recent, it has recently occurred to me that with the advent of the new kittens, also comes a significant increase in the threat posed to my fish. The new kittens are the responsibility of all crew members, and as such, I expect a certain level of vigilance when it comes to their interaction with other pets on board. Please keep this in mind going forward. Canary. Vermilion is not the navigator. Vermilion is the doctor. Yeah, but Juniper is the one that's talking with us. Not to worry, Canary. We'll keep a close eye on the kittens for you. Vermilion. Juniper, she's like, Hi, all. Uh, sorry I forgot to email a reminder last week, but today is games night once again. Usual time, usual place. Invite everyone you know. Plus ones are totally fine. Just let me know in advance. Uh, what, what's BYOB? Bring your own beer. Be, bring your own beer, of course. I would never know that, because... I don't really like beer. See you all later, Juniper. Aubergine. Evening listening sessions just don't seem adequate anymore, Vermilion. I've been building my own player, and I think it's ready for its first proper test. You can come by and see how it sounds, too. Of course, I'll be over after dinner, which you're welcome to join me for if you desire. Vermilion. Sure thing. And then there's logs. If you go up. Ah, so those are the messages. But what's logs? Entry four? Yep. I'm... Is this going to be vermilion? This is vermilion. Yes. Why is it so slow going down? Well, because you're supposed to read the whole thing. Okay. I'm not sure what will affect all of these colonies and vessels. Uh, what effect all these colonies and vessels are having on the human race, but I'm not liking what I'm finding out. Aubergine, until now, didn't like or even listen to music. How can that be the case? It's madness. It took him working with me for a couple hours to discover that he loves it. He didn't put it in those words as such, but I can tell. He's on his way up here now to cure an earworm. He has no idea of the journey he's about to embark on. Here we go. I'm finding myself a little lost at the moment. Everyone's doing great, which leaves me with very little to do. Work has started on a probe to go down and investigate Arnold. Not... Th Excuse me, Arnold! <laughs> Not a huge amount I can help with there. Maybe someone will hurt themselves and I'll have something to do. You know what's unfortunate? Mm -hmm. Because we've been playing this game for so long, I'm imagining a character dragging a line from one side to the next as we're reading the words. <laughs> well, so like yep. As we're reading everything. So I'm just imagining... A little character going back and forth serpentine style as mm -hmm. you're reading and unfortunately I'm just seeing it in my head and I can't undo it. Alright, keep going. Maybe someone will hurt themselves and I'll have something to do. I'm joking, of course. I don't want anyone getting hurt. If anything, it's quite good. Uh, it's quite a good thing I don't have a huge amount to do. <sighs> that reads everyone's well-being is, you know, well. Offer to help Jun Juniper and Pistachio choose a landing site. I'm not sure what I'll bring to the table, but at least I'll be keeping myself busy. I think they're just humoring me, but I'll take it. Pistachio has been asking me a lot about Earth recently. It's strange for her. For her, Earth is such oh, a Pistachio's distant, lady. Okay. distant concept. Nothing more than the origin of humanity, as written in a history book. She occasionally re speaks of it as though it is. Oh, as though it's, I don't know, no longer necessary, no longer important, now that we've moved to a life beyond the stars. I've been showing her photos and telling her stories. I showed her the lake where I would swim during my childhood, before I moved to the coast. I showed her my photos of Paris, from my honeymoon. It caught me off guard a little, but I showed her photos of Abigail and told her about our life together. That was we built by the sea. It was nice to get it off my chest. I left Earth so abruptly, traveled for so long. I don't think I've ever had the time to properly process it all. It would get on well, I'm sure. Pistachio and Abigail. 
Well, the kittens came. I've had Sable up here for the last few days just to keep a close eye on her. She's so gentle. Now, the real question is, what do we do with all these kittens? It would seem that as I currently have the lightest workload, it's become my job to look after the kittens. It's a hard life, but I'll push through it. Nice. Now, what do we have in our inventory? Here, can I see for a second? I just want to wander around for a bit. Okay, sure. Because this is part of the reason why I'm stressing out. So we finished this room. We've still got a puzzle back in the other room. We've also got this room oh, with this puzzles. Two pillars worth of puzzles. <laughs> We've got this room. That looks like an engine or reactor, but it's not activated. Yep, no puzzles in here. So maybe it's not so bad. Ooh, what's down oh, the stairs? Wait, never mind. Ladder. Ladder. Okay, uh, let's finish floor one. I I just want to see what we have available. I love the walls, by the way, like the the purple borders. Mm -hmm. Like that's really cool. Here's another one. Is that the main control. Oh, is that the energy source? What's going on there? Yeah, maybe. Up. Oh, Ooh, a bottle. What is it? Space drink. Space drink. I was hoping we could drink it. But yeah, this reminds me of The Witness, actually, and in honestly a very good way. Oh. Oh, what's this? What are all those numbers? Binary? We already completed that. No, this is the Alabaster. This is a different one. Is it? No. Well, let's just... No, the just... ship name is the Alabaster. Let's see what happens when I put in Vermillions. Oh, so it's it's just a computer. Like everything else. Yeah, it's the same. Yeah. So I don't know about the binary. What, what we'll be able to do with that? Spell something out or meh? Yeah. Is this a secret one down here? Yeah, it looks like yeah, it. Yeah, so three sets of puzzles. Well, yeah, we have to do them in sequence. But three sets of puzzles in this room. I just kind of want to wander and look at this ship. One, because it's really cool looking. But two, just like, puzzle games stress me out a little bit when it's like, just lots of puzzles. Because uh, it's one of those where it's like... But also, these aren't the kind of puzzles where there are hints and mechanics all around. Well, there, there are some environmental hints and or environmental puzzles. But for the most part, it's just trying to... Ooh, hey, what was that on the table? Right there. Oh, you this. Select it. It's a book. Harmony Observation Ports. How the TFC gifted us our library. Liberty. Liberty? Liberty. Liberty. Oh, Olivia Chernov. Yep. Can you open it up? Nope. Or maybe? Interact. Okay. I think it was. No. No. Unless that's supposed to mean something at the bottom. Nope. Where's the kitty? Where are the kitties? What is this? So this is just a moving puzzle? I guess oh, so. Oh, I think what's going to happen is there's going to be more and more of these. Oh, see the locations? Remember how we found that, that piece? Of a card? We're gonna have to align it and then solve it for the main core. Yeah. Uh. So yeah, we, we still have to finish this one, which skunked us hard. Oh, let's start over. Uh, is there anything in here? Oh, pretty. It is very pretty. Like, I'm. Oh, oh. wait, is that a trading card? It is. <laughs> snowfall Revenant. A zero four for every other Snowfall Revenant in the current row. When the snow comes, so too do the revenants. They hunt in packs like animals. Whatever they're guarding, it's sure not worth the hassle. And that has another symbol on it, but is it the same symbol? Yeah, I think so. on the book? Six yeah. One. I love trading card games. I want to play more trading card games. Oh, look at that. 7-8-D-C-4-1-50. Oh, look at that. one zero two zero six. Do you see that? Do you think you... 
What's seven? Like, which of those is seven? I'm trying Three. to find it. Five. Four. Oh! Maybe it's value for things you're touching. Yes, yes, precisely. Like, we need to find seven. There we go. There's seven. Eight. But the thing is, there's no, there's going to be no D and C. Is that a two or is that an eight? That's. Oh, Wait, there oh. are number, there are letters. You know, because we'll, we'll need seven, eight D, C. So maybe seven. Yeah. Eight. D, C. D. Oh, D, C. And then we need four. Is, is that one right there? Four? Yes. Four. One. One. Five. Five. Zero. Zero. There you go. Uh-oh. Something happened. Airlock and X are... Okay, initialized. Recovery mode activated. Archived found. Corrupted mega loyal operative, the Filament Corporation is excited to inform you that your registration as a and captain is now complete. You have been allocated to the crew and vessel of the Dolmite. A manifesto of your crew accompanies this message. The Dolmite is not the Alabaster. Mm -hmm. In order to maintain control of your allocated crew, we have found it beneficial to allocate captains' new names so that your crew has no means of identifying you. All captains are assigned colorless rank, which is derivative of the shape of white. Your assigned name is Fox. You'll be referred to as such in all future TFC correspondents. It is important that you follow the TFC guidelines throughout your employment. You'll be given a, joint of con uh, a point of contact for any matters that require escalation. You will not know any identifying information on this operative or meet them. You should only contact this operative when absolutely necessary. You take full responsibility for all events that occur on the mission and the fate of your crew. The success of the mission is paramount. Under certain circumstances, the success of the mission and health of the crew may be at odds. You must be prepared to prioritize the mission. So everyone is pretty much dead as far as we know, right? Possibly. And only Juniper is left, so... The captain... Is Canary the captain? No, she's the navigator. No, Juniper's the navigator. Oh, I'm talking you're about right. Canary. Wasn't Canary the captain because they were flinging around orders? Maybe. You may disclose or withhold information to your crew at your discretion. However, in the event of an inquiry of a failed mission, this will be analyzed. Good luck, the Filament Corporation. So. There's a mission, and they were supposed to prioritize the mission over the crew. Oh, this one has another clue. Oh, but it's hidden under the boxes. Oh, we're going to have to shunt everything out the airlock. Potentially, yeah. That's a computer we already interacted with. Hey, this is where I took my first few steps aboard the Alabaster. My first time aboard a Philcor ship, actually. I boarded with Pistachio. We exchanged some small talk while we lugged our stuff up on the gangway together. We're both from the firmament, though we didn't know each other from before the mission. It was only after we arrived here and had a proper chance to talk that we realized we'd actually grown up not far from one another. Different schools, though. Oh, maybe this is just the opposite side of the puzzle. Really? Yeah. Are they really the same? Yep, they're the same puzzle. Well, then whose does it correspond with? Uh, so it's... Go up to two... I feel like we should almost get some graph paper. Two, I mean, I have a notepad somewhere around here. Notepad and pen. We're supposed to always have notepads and pens around here. But yeah, I wonder if these are useful for the computer. Yes. That would be the case. Eh. Now your Cintiq is in the way. I need to be able to grab 
zip pad, except zip pad is under the computer. Why were you having that sitting on this? Mm. Okay, let's draw this out. I thought we got me a notepad or a notebook that was just a bunch of dots. Yeah. Okay, go up to the other one. Oh, that's interesting. written down. Okay. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Another corrupted. PSA. PSA. The Filament Corporation. Wait, are proud? Can corporation... I thought that would be singular. Proud to announce the unveiling of the new Cerulean Sector. As you are all aware, the Firmament is always evolving and expanding. Now, the Firmament, is that just their It's space? probably the colonies, yeah. Yeah. Is always evolving and expanding. Today, after years of hard work by thousands of people, the Firmament finally has its very own stretch of idyllic coastline. Image not found. The Cerulean Sector is a five kilometer stretch of artificial coastline complete with sun, sea, and sand. State-of-the-art wave machines simulate the serene lapping of the waves on the shore. Wilt's carefully designed fans and speakers help to replicate an authentic atmosphere. Image not found. Visitors will be blown away by the attention to detail and would be forgiven for thinking that they were really spending a day out on Earth. The sand and rocks were imported especially, along with a colorful selection of an endemic flora and fauna. Whether you're interested in a fun day out with the whole family, a luxury residential location, or a prime business spot, the Cerulean Sector will fully open to the public on the 15th of August. In the meantime, apply for a res residential premise, uh, premises? Linking missing, okay. Apply for a business premises. Link missing. Uh, that did not open the airlock. I'm upset. So is there a map I can pull up? Uh, can you walk all the way down there? Wait, how did... What did I... Oh, there we go. Oh, actually, have we ever tried this? Nope. Uh, let me look around for a little while longer. Oh, and this one. Yeah, I'll, I'll draw that right now. That one should be easy. Oh, can I draw it? I think I re I think I just remember it. Oh. Oh. Hmm? Wait, removable storage? Systems report? Never mind, I don't because it's rotated. Okay. So wait a minute. Oh I see. Wait, why is th why are no. there race sections? Because um, you can't possibly have it start there, right? It wouldn't. Yeah. It wouldn't connect. I think we just go around to the right and then loop around the two. Let me just try this. I was trying to solve it backwards earlier. Mm -hmm. But you see, it won't touch them. Fine. It still is. Know your augmentation provider. So, you're thinking of getting a new augment. Maybe it's your first. Congratulations! This is great. Augmentations vastly improve the lifestyle of their user. I know I couldn't go back while choosing your 
Augmentation provider is an exciting and rewarding experience. It's also incredibly important to vet a provider to check they have your best interest at heart. Fortunately, the Augment Regulatory Board, ARB, has put together a short list of things to watch out for. Only augment what's already there. It is against the law to add any additional limbs. Only augment the limbs you have. Mm -hmm. If anyone offers to add an extra arm, get out of there. <laughs> augments must not be fully concealed. For safety, any augments must be apparent to others. There are various ways this can be done to be as subtle as possible. If anyone offers to give you an augment that's entirely invisible, get out of there. Internal organs can only be augmented with express permission from the TFC and by a TFC endorsed provider that will refer to you too. If anyone offers to replace a heart, get out of there. If a provider passes all of these guidelines, then go ahead. Enjoy a better life. Huh. Okay. So, maybe it's not so bad. Did now we that find I've any more cards? Looked at everything? Hmm? Did we find any more cards? Uh, Ooh. yeah, we did. Oh, also, no! There's a body! I think that's a suit, okay, actually. Okay, never mind. You may have noticed a few of these spacesuits are missing a limb or two. Philcor were nice enough to provide us with personalized suits that are cut off around our augmentations. It's so we can make better use of them outside of the ship. Pretty cool, huh? Aubergine wasn't pleased about how much his resembled a one-piece swimsuit. It's a look, for sure, but I think he rocked it. Is it because Aubergine didn't have arms or legs? Probably, yeah. That's why his just looked like a bathing suit. Oh. What's this one? Treat this card. Sorry, trying. Wait, it's a 500 gold. It's a gift card. Gift card? Yeah, I want to read the text on the back. I'm trying so hard to get it to. Ah. Why? Just flip it to the side. Is there... Uh, I'm trying so hard to rotate it so it'd be easier to read. Can I try? <laughs> this is hurting my eyes. Well, fine. Treat this card like physical grams. Wait, they're called grams? I guess so. Lost or stolen gift cards cannot be replaced under any circumstances. Redeem at any GNU, wait, Pangea. Pangea store. Gift cards cannot be exchanged for grams or as store credit. The balance of this card will expire one, wait, one year, year after purchase. Can you write down the numbers? Sure, just in case. One, two, 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 three, four, 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 two. One, four, 13, 32. Can you combine those? So three, Michelle, underneath that can. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so three, four, seven, eight, six, five, four, five? I mean, it could be something. Yeah, I don't know about that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, it's an eight code. Yeah. But why would someone make a password off of a gift card? We go into some of the other rooms? We've gone into all of the available rooms. Really? Here's another one, though. Oh, another puzzle, you mean? Mm hmm. Okay, so it usually starts. Okay, so it's starting there, but it loops around. Wait. How would you say that goes? Does it go down? Okay. Up, right, up, right, up, left, down. Here, can you draw it? Because unfortunately with those you, yeah, rocks you in the way, I thought I, I thought it was going up and around and over. Because it has to loop in a particular fashion. Put check marks next to the ones that we've entered, by the way, just because. Hmm? Uh, put check marks next to the ones that we've entered, by the way. Oh, okay.
Yeah, because usually these are on 4x4 four four grids. Okay, you think you figured it out? Let's see, right? Eh. Trying to do this one handed. Okay. I'm gonna just do this here. Yeah, we can't get all those blocks out. Oh, I see. I see what I did wrong. There's one step I didn't codify because I didn't see it. There we go. There. Another corrupted message. Diary of an unnamed Earth man. I have no idea. Wow, just wow. This place is quite something. Photos do not do it justice. I mean, that sky. Just look at it. Mom would love this place. Maybe I'll be able to convince her to come here. Okay. Uh, let's see. We've got all of these. Are we... Do you want to just force the issue and keep going? Or... I mean... Here, let's go up that ladder. I want to I wanna see if we, we have access to We haven't gone to the other this. level. Also, have... is there anything inside there that you can get? Oh, another card! Yep. Is it just an orchid? Merrileaf orchid. Merrileaf orchid. Sacrifice Merrileaf orchid to permanently give the target card plus zero, plus three. An unsettling flower that looks to be made from flesh and bone. Best not to think about it. Oh, is that the little pod module? Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, no. That's puzzles. Anything, Anything on the desk? A note back here? No, it looks... Looks like nothing. Well, let's take a look at one of these. Oh, I thought we were going to go up the elevator. Also, this is different. Colorful. Maybe not super complicated? And deceptively easy. Oh, look at that. Maybe you have to activate the two red before you activate the two blue? Yeah. And they're not red, they're orange. Oh, I see, because you start with an orange line. Maybe? You should be able to do it. Yeah, I just had to do it like this. So yeah, touching the first one grants you a orange charge. And then the next one... That's interesting. Why is it that that one doesn't have a square? Uh, do you have maybe to... it's something like this. Because this doesn't take away the orange charge. Uh... But this does. Mm, maybe you want to start off with blue. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, I get it. Uh, well, I, I do, but I don't wanna. Oh. Um. That seemed to work, but. Thank you. 
Because that gets one of them. And then that kills it. Yeah. Can you go blue to orange? No. No. Cannot. Also, thank you, Modmaker, for the 20 months resub. I'll have to figure out which VOD will let you finish Final Fantasy VII because your invasions. Understandable. Gosh. These started easy and then they got mean. So what you're saying is that going from here to there doesn't work. Yeah. I mean, it kind of does. It's not necessarily a problem. The main issue is you can't wreck it. Oh, wait. No, you got it. You got it. I got it. it. Yeah. Because <laughs> I suppose the light still carries through. Oh. So, Pluto, despite having been here all but a single orbit, you're already making far more sense of these anchors than I ever did. This kind of thing was never really my area of expertise. If it wasn't helping me pilot my ship, then I wanted nothing to do with it. Not the best attitude, I admit. To tell you the truth, I'm still not sure what these things do. They were meant to stop some spike on some graph that I'm told was important, with the minor side effect that literally all systems are no longer remotely accessible. <laughs> Useful, right? And how very convenient. Oh look, a third color is added. Mm -hmm. I like these colors. And impediments. Mm, I don't like the look of that. Mm. Oh, that's no good. I think you gotta start with the blue first. Yeah, it looks like it. But the problem is... Go up, loop around. Like that? Yeah. Oh, but then how am I supposed to get the purple? That's the problem, because I, I can get this purple, but I won't be able to get that purple. And I, I can't get an orange to an orange, you see? I mean, I suppose I could get this orange over, but then I'd shut off the purple. And I could do that, but no. I wonder if there's another way I can do this. No, not that way. Not that way. Uh, but I won't be able to get the blue then. Can I see? Sure. Maybe instead of going this way, we go this way? And then you get the orange? Yeah. Okay. But then you'll have to loop down. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, okay. Then you get the magenta. The orange is already tapped out, so we don't have to worry about it. Yep. Yep. There you go. Oh, look! Cyan. Green. Yeah. The teal green. Oh, the blue is going to be an issue. Oh, there's another one of these, though. There is a pillar. Okay, so that taps out the blue. Green. That gets purple. Yeah, if you loop around that... No, 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 loop around the other side of it. Can you go around? Oh no, the line prevents you from mm -hmm. going. No! Yeah, so I think these pillars are super important for... So sh should we start with orange? Maybe, or go yeah. To, or go to purple first. Maybe you want to go to purple first. But you can't really go purple first because the teal is in the way. Mm -hmm. Oh, that works. Then green. Orange. But you can't cross that. So maybe you want to do blue first. Okay. 
Except then how will you find a way out? Ah. So that means What if we did teal first? Then magenta. Then, then, okay. We can try that. Because I've got a direct shot at the mag uh the teal. True. That's looking good. That'll leave an open path at the very least. Okay, then orange? Mm. Then blue. No, 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 no. We need to do blue, uh, orange. We need to do... I think you need to loop, loop that. Oh, leave the loop. Get the blue. Get the orange. Yeah, here we go. Got it. Mm-hmm. And then you have a way out. Yep. Nice. 